Another school year and another pandemic setback. WDRB's Brian Martin tells us why some Floyd County students will soon be covering their faces again. New Albany Floyd County students were welcomed back to in person learning on Tuesday, but on Friday, those students K through six will now be required to wear a mask. All the information is out there. We all know what's going to happen. We all know what can't happen. So let's take the information and do what you will. I mean, if you're worried about it, wear a mask. If you're not worried about it, don't wear a mask. Eric Ward enjoys spending time with his wife and two young kids. He, like many others in New Albany, hoped the school mask requirement is short lived. The mandate is for public, private, and charter schools in Floyd County. It will last for about a month, but could be extended. Masks will be required indoors when there's not enough room to social distance. They will not be required for outdoor activities like sports or recess. Floyd County Health Officer Dr. Tom Harris says studies show the benefit elementary school age children get from in-person learning. Harris also says the grade levels were chosen based on vaccination eligibility. And just recently, New Albany Floyd County Schools did offer an opportunity for those 12 and up to receive the vaccine. In New Albany, Brian Martin, WDRB News.